What's going on guys here, Namazombra here, back with an amazing video. Today I'll be showing you how you can improve your sniping in Battlefield 1, but also choose the best setup for you. Alright, so the first step is to check your light out. I'm using the standard sniper since everyone can use it and in my opinion it's one of the best in game. It's also super easy to handle and I feel very comfortable using it. It's the SML MK3 Marksman. I've changed my optics on the rifle to the beam reticle because I felt like this was a simple one to get used to and made sniping a lot easier for me. I just left the barrel on and made it a 2.50 magnification zoom. As a sidearm, I chose the mass automatic. Now, not many people get this pistol directly but it's really worth getting it when you can. It has high amounts of damage and the reloading is also fast for such a pistol like this. Alright, so for the gadgets, I took the trip by bomb with gas and the flare gun to spot enemies easier on the map. Now you can choose any grenade that you like, I chose the gas grenade because it just can tell me where enemies are faster if I throw it into certain areas and it just deals a lot of damage to several groups and gives me lots of points when I uh, do damage with it. So it's really great and that's why I took it. Alright, now we're getting to into step 2, identifying what type of sniper you really are. Um, you can either be a close quarter sniper, engaging in certain areas directly, face to face, or from a far distance. So the next step is something you already know, and that's practice. To learn how to use a sniper in Battlefield 1 will take time and precision. There is no other way around that. One thing that is very important when sniping is the range. You are able to change the range on your sniper which changes the distance of how far your bullets travel. This makes aiming a lot easier and you don't have to move your scope so high up and mostly miss your shot. One very important thing to remember is your position. If you have a better position, it's harder to spot you, automatically feel calmer and you will take your time when taking your shots. This often is a result in you getting your shot on your first try. Alright, so you basically have to remember your loadout, practice, your different ranges and not to forget your positions. I hope this video helped you out and if it did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more content. Thanks so much.